Hello, everyone. We hope you're all healthy and having a wonderful day. We are Richly. Welcome back to the channel. And we're back with yet another exciting video. Ethereum price is low currently. Does that mean it is a good time to buy the dip? Or does that indicate it will fall more? Are you too late to invest in Ethereum? Before we get started, subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, Ethereum price will rise and it will be too late for you to invest. Don't miss out, stick around until the end of the video to know whether Ethereum is going to blow through the roof or crash into the dust. We believe in keeping things as easy as possible when it comes to investing and trading. You're in good condition if you can draw one obvious line. You don't need to know the direction's result. All you need to know is that the move will be significant since you can jump on it once it's obvious. So far, the cryptocurrency industry has had a tumultuous year. Following record highs in the previous several months for numerous major cryptocurrencies, many of them are now seeing their prices collapse. Buying the dip or purchasing when prices are at their lowest can be a good investment strategy in some situations. You have the chance to stock up on quality assets at a bargain and then reap the benefits once prices recover. Investing in cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, is not the same as buying equities. While equities have a lengthy history of growing in value over time, cryptocurrency is a newcomer to the scene and no one knows what the future holds for it. Should you buy any cryptocurrency now, while prices are lower if you're on the fence? Or should you wait and see whether the cryptocurrency market recovers? Here's all you need to know about it. Whether or not you should invest in cryptocurrencies right now depends on how long you want to keep your money. Buying good investments and holding them for the long term is one of the finest methods to grow money. While short-term investment tactics such as day trading might be profitable, they can also be extremely dangerous. It doesn't matter when you buy if you're investing for the long run. Your assets should rise significantly over time if they are sound. So whether you buy when prices are at their lowest or when they are at their highest won't make much of a difference in the long term. Of all, no one knows for certain what cryptocurrency's future holds or whether it will survive in the long run. However, if you believe in its potential, it doesn't matter if you buy now or later when prices are higher. If cryptocurrency succeeds and prices rise over time, you'll profit anyway. Nobody can predict where cryptocurrencies will go in 5, 10, or 20 years. Some experts believe Bitcoin will reach $500,000 per token in the future, while others say the cryptocurrency has no future. Investing in cryptocurrencies is a personal choice that is based on your risk tolerance. Because cryptocurrency is still young, investing today is hazardous. If it succeeds, though, you might make a lot of money by getting in on the first floor. If you're a risk-averse investor, you might want to hold off for a few years to see how crypto performs. This may restrict your potential returns if prices rise substantially over that time, but it can also lower your investment risk. If you do decide to invest, carefully consider the cryptocurrency you purchase. Not all currencies are the same, and some are riskier than others. Bitcoin and Ethereum are two of the most well-known cryptocurrency names. They currently have the longest track records and the greatest real-world utility, giving them an edge in the crypto sector. Meme currencies such as Dogecoin, on the other hand, are extremely hazardous and have low chance of long-term success. All cryptocurrencies are high-risk investments, but you may reduce your risk as much as possible by completing your homework and selecting your investments properly. Cryptocurrency may or may not succeed in the long term, but it is more important to keep your investments for as long as possible than it is to acquire them. According to Hao Han Zhu, Ethereum is poised to receive its moment in the spotlight. On Thursday, Zhu, the founder and CEO of crypto trading platform Epiphany, told Insider that he feels Ethereum is the finest investment opportunity right now and that it would easily recover to its former highs of $4,000. This is because until recently, Ethereum has been the crypto world's sweetheart, attracting fresh institutional money. While Zhu believes Bitcoin will continue to appreciate in the future, he believes Ethereum and the decentralized finance ecosystem built on it will receive more attention when investor mood returns to optimistic for crypto in general. The majority of individuals, including some mainstream institutions, have been focused on Bitcoin. However, they seem to overlook some of the other advantages. One of them is undoubtedly Ethereum, Zhu added. They don't understand or talk about Ethereum as much as they should. 
In DeFi, most institutions have no idea what an automated market maker is. I believe it will easily hit $4,000 once there is a resurgence of interest in the crypto area, he added. Any resurgence of interest in the crypto sector right now will provide a lot of fuel for DeFi. In recent months, there has been a general sell-off in cryptocurrencies. Ethereum is presently trading at a little over $1,900, down from a high of $4,132 in May. Bitcoin is presently trading at approximately $33,000, down from April highs of over $63,000. DeFi, according to Zhu, will become a key element of the financial system in the future. It's a code-based system that lets anyone directly lend and borrow digital currency, effectively removing the need for traditional banks. Its procedures are more efficient than some in traditional finance, and banks are already considering adopting it into their business structures. The establishment of central bank digital currencies, according to Zhu, is one item that may significantly boost DeFi's growth. These would be digital currencies like Bitcoin or Ether, but they would be government-backed. Uniswap, the Ethereum exchange platform, or on an off-ramp to fiat money would benefit greatly from the development of one or more of these, according to Zoo. If a CBDC is constructed on Ethereum, Uniswap, a decentralized automated market maker, might grow 100 times, according to him. The Federal Reserve, like other central banks across the world, has started the process of establishing a CBDC. The Economist Intelligence Unit concluded earlier this year that if central banks began issuing CBDCs, demand for digital assets would increase. He also mentioned that Uniswap has grown to 2 million members in less than a year and is expanding at a far quicker rate than Coinbase, another cryptocurrency exchange. According to Zoo, DeFi technology will begin to infiltrate into equities markets on a larger scale sooner rather than later. According to him, this will be accomplished through the use of automated market makers. Alternative trading platforms, for example, already exist to some extent. You will see someone doing the same thing in stocks in the next five years, Zhu said. Many in the crypto community agree with Zhu's assessment of DeFi and its expanded role in banking and society in the future, even if it becomes more regulated. DeFi's flexibility, 24-7 nature, and possibility for more significant return creation in a time of low interest rates, according to Raghu Yarlagata, founder and CEO of crypto exchange Falcon X, augur well for future adoption. The intersection of the critical February high of $2,041 with the 200-day SMA at $2,036 and the 2020 ascending trend line at 1984 formed strong support on July 13th. The daily closing below the triple of support was a turning point for Ethereum, indicating that a deeper, more violent drop was imminent. The price of Ethereum remains below the trio of support, making a substantial recovery from the present level unlikely. The 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of the 2020-2021 rise at $1,730, the June 22nd low of $1,700, and the 2018 high of $1,419 are all plausible downside targets. A move to the 2018 high would be a 26% drop from the current price. However, Ethereum investors must be aware of the possibility of a bear trap. In a slingshot pattern, Ethereum price briefly dips below the 2020 rising trend line, instilling anxiety before quickly regaining the trifecta of resistance. The rising optimistic prognosis for Bitcoin price supports the possibility of this scenario. The 50-day SMA at $2,276 and the top trend line of the broader descending triangle formation at $2,533, representing a 30% rebound from the current price, represent upside potential for Ethereum. Fear levels have not risen as a result of the drop below the trio of support, suggesting that the weakness will be short-lived. Nonetheless, the price of Ethereum is at a crossroads, and the present directional tendency is down, aided by a weak cryptocurrency complex. For the time being, be wary of a bear trap as Ethereum sits in a no-man's land between the ascending 2020 trend line and the 61.8% retracement level, but do not add until Ethereum closes above the previous triple of support daily. In short, it's never too late to invest in Ethereum. With the current crash, the opportunity has extended to get a good investment and low rates. Let us know if you think Ethereum is a good investment currently. Do you plan to invest in Ethereum right now, or do you feel it's too late?